Welcome back to my channel. My name is Maxine. I'm going to be doing a quick update on my project No Buy for 2018. So far, this is my first check-in after my intro for the year, which I will link down below. Um, that one showed my wrap-up from 2017 and then the intro for my new collection and a new stash that I was working on for this year. Um, this is my second year doing a No Buy. Previously, I was doing Project Pan which was basically me setting aside a certain number of products that I wanted to finish up within a certain period of time. But for the no buy, if you don't already know, it's basically like shopping your stash. Um, you're not allowed to buy any products outside of your own collection, or that's how I do it. And, um, and then I set a goal for how many products I want to finish up. Last year, if you watched that video, I thought I did pretty poorly. I started out with like 99 products or something like that. I finished up quite a few. I think I finished up 50 something, but then I bought a lot of products. So I learned a lot from my no buy last year. I learned that skincare is definitely one of my big weaknesses and that I have to be more strict with myself in not buying things and not being tempted by sales and Sephora. So far this year, I'm pleased to say that I've only bought one product. Now everyone has different rules for their own no buys, but I am allowing myself to replace products that um, I use on a regular basis, like a, that I need. SPF is one of them. Heat protectant spray for my hair is another. I bought a new face wash. So that's the one thing I've bought so far this year. I started out with 91 products. If you watch my intro video for 2018, I said I had 92 products. I went back and did the math. I have no idea what that extra product is. I think I just did my math wrong. So I have 91 products. I finished up seven already. Um, I've bought one product. So, so far so good because my goal was to finish 41 products and end up with 50. I'm right on track because I finished 7 of 41, which is just over one-sixth of the number of products that I need to finish by the end of the year if I want to successfully finish my project no buy for the year. Um, and then of course I can't buy anything. And we are one-sixth of the way through the year, so I'm right on track. I do tend to finish up more products towards the end of the year just because I've been steadily working on the products throughout the year. So I expect to at least finish 41 and probably more, hopefully. There is one product that I'm sort of taking off the list. I'm leaving it in the number, but I'm essentially going to be marking it as finished at some point in the year. I haven't done it yet. It's not counted in one of the seven. Um, and that is one of my fragrance products, which includes perfumes and body sprays. It's the uh, Justin Bieber, the Key Travel Purse Spray. It's this little um, spray bottle that's gold colored. I really like the fragrance, believe it or not, and it's pretty hard to come by now. So I'm not gonna, I don't really want to officially finish it up. I kind of want to like save it. So I'm just gonna mark it as finished at some point during this year. Let me know if you guys want to see many reviews of any products that I finish up not in an empties video format because I do do empties videos and I will show the seven products I've finished up so far this year in my empties in April. So let me know if you want me to do sort of mini review videos, three to five minutes long, where I talk about the ingredients, talk about my um, impressions of the product, and maybe show you some of the actual products if I have any left. Let me know if that's something you want to see. So I'm going to insert footage now of the products in my no buy that remain. I'm not gonna be showing you any products that I bought until the very end of the year, if any of those even remain.
I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to you in some way. If you're doing a no buy or a project pan or, or some sort of like minimizing your collection, link it down below and I'll check it out. If you have any questions or comments, also leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. And otherwise, thanks always for watching and for subscribing and I will see you next time.